interview. It's a chrysalis and a tool to, you know, illustrate the binding of a specific affliction and that can be interchanged for anything almost. It's um, a brilliant element of being able to relate to people that maybe you wouldn't necessarily speak to or talk to and say, okay, well, you look different than me, but we both have the same issue, um, more or less, and how can we move through it? Because these characters carry secrets and carry identities that are not seen by the center of life, they are not part of society, I thought it was very interesting to, and ironic somehow, to be immersed into mayhem and hell that these characters are going through between one another, and yet the world does not know. I smelt you. I didn't know I could do that. I thought I was the only one. I don't want to hurt anybody. Famous last words. She is trying to search for the answer of living in this world in a way that's sustainable and also that, you know, is respectful of the people around her but feels truthful and authentic to what she needs. She's shedding, you know, her shadow and stepping into the truth and honesty of, of, of who she is. You know where you start from, but you don't know where you're landing. And I think it's a sort of false stop. You know, she thinks she's looking for the mother, and yet when she realizes that the mother is looking for her, then she has to abruptly make what in psychoanalysis is called a action. She has to cut the ties with the mother immediately in order to find a way not to be like the mother.